Welcome to episode 698. Chris Horn, best trader from UK. This is an outline of episode 698. There are two reasons we study Chris Horn. First, at age 54, with a net worth of $5 billion, he's one of the youngest and most successful hedge fund manager in the world. Second, he went through an expensive divorce in 2014 and paid $500 million for settlement, then a British record for divorce. Let us meet Chris Horn. So is Alpha Dad? I don't believe so. There's really no shortage of opportunities and alpha generation uh, in, in our view. Uh, and uh, since 2010, the fund has returned 18% per annum. We're up 22% net fees this year and 18% a year so over the 10 years life of the fund. So we're finding plenty to invest in. Christopher Horn was born in Adelstone near London in 1966. His father is a Jamaican auto mechanic who immigrated to England in 1960. In 1988, he graduated first class honor in accounting and business economics from Southampton University. In 1993, he earned an MBA from Harvard University. He was a Baker Scholar, meaning he was among the top 5% of all graduates. After graduation, he worked a number of years for Richard Perry, an American hedge fund manager. In 2003, at the age of 37, he founded TCI. TCI stands for the Children's Investment Fund. Since 2003, for the past 17 years, the annual return of TCI was 18% a year. In aggregate, what trends did you notice when it comes to positioning, how these hedge funds were positioned? So it's really interesting because we did see some hedge fund crowding. Mm. Um, we took, an, uh, took a look at where we saw a lot of the overlaps and uh, more than half. Making Chris Hahn one of the richest hedge fund manager in UK. Now, the most expensive divorce settlement in UK history, the amount was $500 million. That's half a billion dollars. Chris Horn paid to his American-born ex-wife. Let us meet Jamie Cooper Horn, ex-wife of Chris Horn. She's a Harvard MBA who met Chris Horn when both were students there. He's the co-founder of the uh, and president of the um, Children's Investment Fund Foundation. There's this respect, one of the great frustrations for SIP has been the number of philanthropists in the West. Um, that see philanthropy as about making them feel good. And that isn't what philanthropy should be about. And when we have partnered with philanthropists in Africa and many of the philanthropists from the West who are in this room, um, there is a real commitment uh, to using money well and to making impact. And, and that is what I think the mindset has to be. Um, resources are short. Um, Partnerships are key. Chris Hahn created Alpha as investment value for his investors. So what is Alpha? In investment, rating a mutual fund or a hedge fund is either through Alpha or Beta. Beta is the fluctuation or the risk adjusted. Alpha is the return of the investment over the expected return. The expected return is the average or usually S&P 500 or some other factors. In short, Alpha is the fund's manager's expertise to generate more income than the expected return. How to generate Alpha according to Chris Hahn? There are four ways. Has it gotten harder to find it? Yeah, let's talk um, about how we generate alpha, if that's a, uh, okay. Well, for us, we generate alpha through uh, a number of ways. Firstly, understanding the sustainability of business models, understanding business models and taking a long-term horizon over which the persistence of high barriers to entry plays out, very much in the um, philosophy of Warren Buffett. Uh, secondly, we 
have a deep sector expertise in some sectors, um, including infrastructure and consumer goods, which help us to uh, un understand uh, when opportunities are, are good. Um, thirdly, we run concentrated. Positions can be in excess of 10% of NAV, and so by concentrating our capital in, in a handful of, of very good ideas, they outperform. And, um, and finally, I'll mention the issue of uh, being prepared to be activist, which is an inefficient space where few people are willing to do that, and, and we're willing, where appropriate, to, to be activist. And so that combination of taking a long-term view, which gives us a time horizon arbitrage, sector expertise, understanding business models, the corporate governance expertise, um, and the concentration, the combination of those uh, factors has allowed us to generate uh, consistently high alpha. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Christopher Horn, 10 Trading Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.